All right, it's way up at Angela Yee. I'm here and Mano's here. New Mano! Right. And earlier in Yee T, we were talking about Cardi B and Offset. She went live and he's been responding on social media. And he said, the fact you keep going shows you hurt. Leave alone. Don't you got it? N-word. Ain't we divorced? I mean, he accused her of having sex with other people while she was pregnant by mm. him. She responded right. on social media and did. Um, the two of them have been going back and forth. She, you know, discussed his issues and said she was more of the man of the house and that mm. he's insecure and that he's not real, which is why he will mess with her ops and do stuff like that. But the two of them do have t- uh, three children together. Mm-hmm. They are married. No matter what, they're going to be somehow in each other's lives. Right. Now, Mano, you're a petty person. Have you ever regretted saying or doing something while you were breaking up? You know, I pretty much push the line and go over the line. Mm-hmm. I know. Many times, yeah. I've okay. Do you that. regret anything? Um, I have. Are you gonna tell us? I mean, something I, crazy I, you said. I, don't or know, did? I just f you, your family, everybody. Wow. Like, just, <laughs> I just, you know, I'm. Because in the heat of passion, right? I mean, you, you say you, anything to hurt you, the person. You saying anything to hurt you it's going to hurt somebody's feelings. That's what you want to do. You mm-hmm. trying to say the most hurtful things, right? Because they coming back at you, and then, you know, um. It's all about self control, and a lot of times I I didn't have it. Um, so have I have I regretted things? Yes. Have I have I not regretted things? Sometimes no. <laughs> I think for me, my worst pain that I can inflict on somebody is just being a ghost and gone, no yeah. response. Like you never mattered at all. Yeah. And I won't even entertain a conversation. Yeah, I'm going for the conflict. Yeah. See, I'm not. Yeah. I feel like that always cuts deeper than if, if you just ignore somebody. Yeah, you just gotta. Be, you're better than me. All right. Well, Chris, have you ever regretted saying or doing something during a breakup? Yeah, man. I was uh, I was married for like 21 years, and then when we we came Damn. to the end of our you know our relationship, uh, <laughs> as she was leaving, she said, "Well, what about the kids? You had kids prior before I got with her," and I was like. I mean, you grown them kids got a creep too. <laughs> you said, it was like, F, know, the, F, F them kids. kids. F them kids, and, right? But, you know, after, you know, after the, after the divorce and they got all settled and stuff like that, you know, and like, like bad says like that, uh, you know, men don't want to see another woman move on. And so I was hurt, you know what I'm saying? So I was trying to say or do anything that I, like I can get back at her. But then, you know, I got back with, uh, the relationship with the kids and stuff like that. But I did say, man, uh, you go, they got to go, too. <laughs> mm. Okay. All right. Well, you made up for it. Yeah, I, I think I did. I mean, they still ain't talking to me, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's tough because it ain't got nothing to do with them. But, you know, trying to hurt her, you said something about the kids. Yeah, and I regret it. Don't get me wrong. I regret it. I wish I never said it because I've been in those kids' lives for for. 20 plus years, you know, so mm-hmm. I was like a father figure, if not right. a father. That's a long time to be in their lives. That's a long time. years. That's a long time to be. Just to be like, F you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It'd be all right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Bye. F them kids. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye <laughs> hey brian hey how are you i'm good how you doing i'm doing great doing great you want to tell me amano something you did awful during a breakup that you regret well no you know more, more importantly um i had a moment where i may have divulged not any personal information but maybe got a little emotional in a moment said one or two things that i should have taken back but you know in, in hindsight you know it's all about mm-hmm. integrity it's all about when you enter a relationship, you enter that relationship, you put her on a pedestal. So when you leave that relationship, you should leave her on that pedestal. Mm, um, that's know, nice. Those are things that people are going to look back and your children might see, you know. And, I agree and, with and all that, her. but we want to know what you said right. that you regret. I know you wrote a book and everything, but <laughs> tell us what you said. Right, listen, we know you're on the, on the path now, right. but what did you do when you slipped up? Yeah, well, I mean, like, I, I went out and, and told all my homeboys, you know, some information about her that would make it a little bit easier for them to get at her, uh, you know, uh, made arrangements for, what? for her to... Uh, Never heard that one before. A little bit easier, I could say, for them to kind of, like... Conquer. Know, be with her, conquer her, <laughs> and then kind of take note. So when Crazy. she was in the moment, she felt like she was kind of getting at me, but I just kind of put it all to her at once and said, hey, look, this was all arranged. You did nothing. I'm the one that set this whole thing up, so... You know, that that was kind of, you know, grimy in a sense that, you know, I put her in a path to, like, make it easy for them to get to her. That's, a little, that's a little diabolical yeah, right that's there. Weird. That's a little yeah, treacherous that, right that, there. That, that was a little bad. But yeah. I was, I was hurt in a moment, you know. That's... I was hurt. That's, That's different than a moment, though, because when you when you when you arguing with somebody and you in the heat of passion, you might say something crazy, you, crazy, but you you plotted and planned that. 
Yeah, I, I did. I did. And, yeah. that, and, that, and that, you know, looking back on it, you know, that, that, that was really kind of deep and dark. No, 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 no. You like weird, weird, though, a little <laughs> it's bit. Like a cuck, like, like, kind yeah. of. <laughs> it's like a little weird. I, I, I felt that. I felt that like baby moment. weird, though. Like, you know really what I mean? Dark and hurt. And, you know, um, it, was, it wasn't a clean breakup. Right. You know, she kind of did some things to me, but I, I, looking back, she didn't do it to me on that level where I, where I should have done that to her. Okay, well, listen, that. and it's all when you look back at things and you have, and, and retrospect, it, it's a learned lesson for you. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. It is. It but made I, you a better man for the next person. Definitely. Definitely. All right. Well, so, thank uh, you. Yeah, I, thank you, Brian. Thank you all so much. All right. Martine. Hey. Hey, you want to tell me and may know something? You are, I could tell already you done did something crazy yeah. or said something crazy during a breakup. Listen. I could tell by your voice. I don't, I don't, I, and she probably don't even regret it. She said, hey. Listen, I, listen. She talk crazy. I wouldn't say the word. Let me say, let me switch it up. I wouldn't say the word regret because I don't think that's the right word. I would say do better. Like, okay. you got to learn from your mistakes, right? Mm-hmm. So with that situation with Cardi being upset, I did something similar too. And I wasn't thinking about my kids at the time. I was not thinking about how my family might react. And what did I you do? It, I'm like, yo, oh, what did I do? Yeah. yeah. I went on the internet and I let that person have it. Mm. Mm. I let him have it. And, and it, it was in the nastiest way ever. Like, what did you say? And What'd you I, do? Oh, I was like, you ain't, can I, I don't think I could curse, right? Go ahead. Okay, I was like, you ain't sick, your mom this, like, I was saying Ooh. all types of things, like, even, even, like, literally mentioned something about a kid, mm. like, things that you're not supposed to do. Mm. Right, kids are off limits. And I had let my, yeah, and I had let my emotions get literally the best of me, and when I thought about it, I started reflecting, and having a kid, I, I don't know for most parents, but having a kid, it really shifts your point of view. And I just looked at my son afterwards, and I'm like, yo, I would never want a woman like that talking to my child. Right, right. I would never. All right. So well, with that being said, mm -hmm. with also with men, you guys also got to also understand that, like, these are people's daughters, too. Mm -hmm. So I look at it from, like, a point of view of what I want somebody to do this to my child. That's why, like, when it comes to relationships, like, moving forward and he had forgave me and everything no you should ask god for forgiveness though baby <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> please we god forgives do. yeah listen we all do and the best part about that is it also even helped me create a brand um called keys to the city uh -oh. mm -hmm. which stands for self-awareness for everyone right so like through these experiences sometimes it does bring out the best out of us. Like, the worst situations do bring out the best out of us. All right. So well, thank you. Thank you, Martine. We appreciate it. And that's dope that you started a brand and everything for that. That's right. Go to church now. Yes. And I, yes, I appreciate you. And shout out to you, Angela Yee. I went to the um, e, um, e event. Oh, Yee Day. Um, for Labor Day. Oh. Yeah, and I loved it. That was, like, my first time. I wanted to say that to you last time. Oh, well, thank like you. That was my first time going to a... A public event and I'm a person like I have like a bit of anxiety mm -hmm. and I tell you that was the first time I felt my safest oh, in an outdoor event. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Thank you, Martine. I appreciate that. So, All right, take care, babe. Way up.